Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock all the balloon races, uh, where to find all the balloon races and I'm going to be going through each one of the balloon races to give you a rough idea of how to complete them with enough balloons popped. Okay, so the first one is in the Obsidian Fieldlands and it's at the Heights Camp and what you want to do is you want to have Weird Ear and you want to have the Heights Camp unlocked and you just want to speak to this person right here and he'll ask you to pop 30 balloons and you've got to do it in 45 seconds. Now, to complete this uh, mission, you uh, only actually have to pop 17 out of the 30 balloons, and the more balloons you pop, the better rewards you get if you was to redo this mission, but the first time you do it, uh, you get a rare candy and some nuggets. And uh, when you get to this balloon, you just want to turn to the right, because uh, there'll be a sharp turn, and then you want to jump for this one, and then you just want to keep going, make sure you get that one. The ones that are moving can be a little bit tricky, but once you get used to them, uh, it's easy enough. Uh, and you just want to come around here and be careful at the end, because there will be a jump that you'll have to delay as much as you can. Uh, it will be this one. So jump here and get your last one, and that's the first race done. Now, because I've already done the balloon race before, he won't give us the original quest reward, but he'll give us two bags of stardust, uh, which is a nice little bit of money for us. Let's move on to the next one. The next balloon race, which is the second one out of the four, you will have to be in the Cobalt Coastlands, and you'll have to unlock the Coastlands Camp. To get this, you will need to have completed Request 46, which is setting up a Coastlands Camp. You will also need to have encountered uh, Hisuian Arcanine, uh, but you don't need to battle it yet before you uh, do this quest. Now it's going to be the same person every time, so we're just going to go ahead and speak to this person right here. Now there's uh, 40 balloons that you have to pop, but you only actually have to get 24 of them to complete the quest and move on to the third race. Now uh, this race is a, a little bit more difficult than the last one, and uh, it's because we've got a switch from Weird Ear to Abaska Legion. Uh, so you just want to follow what I'm doing right here, a single jump for that one. Some of them will be a little bit higher than usual, and that's when you'll need to use your double jump with uh, the Abaska Legion. But, um, you just want to like that there the double jump and we just want to carry on going it, it can be it can be a little bit tricky as you can see some of the balloons go uh, faster and move a lot in the air uh, i had a little bit of difficulty at first though you don't need to get all of them though so that's good we're just trying to get to the last uh, balloon quest so we can get the better rewards and uh, now we just need to jump on this land and it will automatically give us weird ear and then when you jump again it will give us basque legion again and we you wanna uh, if you can try and uh, like hold your last jump until the last second and uh, you'll have a better chance of getting the balloons that are in the air, in the air sorry now this one can be a little bit difficult because you have to do your double jump to the side and it can be hard to judge when and where you need to jump. Oh there's a little drift loon as well. Uh, so we've done this um, with a, only just uh, got it in time but we got 36 out of the 40. So let's see what which rewards we get. So we got five leaden balls uh, for completing that quest. The more you get uh, the better your reward will be with the best being at 40. Let's move on to the third race. Now the third race is at the Alabaster Icelands and it's at the Ice Peak Camp. Now you need to speak to Volo and Garrick on the Slumbering Lord of the Tundra mission uh, to unlock this uh, quest. You also need to complete the quest uh, 78 which is setting up the Ice Peak Camp and you just want to find uh, this person right here, Bryce, and he will thank you for finding him out in the cold and then he'll get you your camp and then it will unlock uh, this area and you want to speak to this person again and this time uh, it's going to be even harder to complete the race uh, there'll be 50 balloons but you only have to pop 32 of them right so on this race uh, you have to pop 30 balloons out of 50 uh, it is a lot more difficult though and you will be using um, Sneasler I believe Oh, uh, so it'll be a bit more difficult. I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna use uh, Braviary because uh, that will give me an unfair advantage uh, in case, like, you haven't unlocked it yet. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you wanna come up here. Uh, you wanna click um, right uh, twice, and then you wanna get that one. Come along here. Uh, remember the double jump from the second one. That's what you're gonna have to do here, <clears throat> and then land here. Oh, you do actually have to have Braviary to do this mission. And then you want to activate it straight away uh, as soon as you do the uh, second jump. 
and then you just want to keep going uh, maybe go down a little bit here get that one uh, it can be hard if you don't uh, do the jump uh, straight away because uh, you will miss all the ones that are the highest I think I've just missed that one uh, we'll get that one when we land we'll get this jump activate it straight away and then we'll get that one <clears throat> now I'm gonna dive uh, use our speed a little bit to get this one and I'm gonna slow down just a little bit while we're turning <clears throat> I'm gonna get this one this one and then turn right get this and then that one <clears throat> then you just want to come over this hill and you want to follow this uh, mountain path uh, until you get uh, some more light. We've already done it. We've got 38, 39, and we only needed 30. So as you can tell, it's not that hard. You just have to get used to it. <clears throat> and then you want to fly here. Now we're going to have to hurry up because there's only uh, 14 seconds left. Oh, got to be careful. Uh, hopefully we can get 50. Oh. Oh, 49. Oh, the, oh, there was only 50 on this one. I was thinking of a different one. So we got 49 out of 50. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, we missed one, so we didn't get that last one to get the best reward you can get. Uh, but let's see what reward we got. We got three bags of Stardust, so that's 3,000 Polka Dolls. Now let's move on to the fourth and final balloon race. Now the fourth race is at the Summit Camp in the Coronet Highlands. Uh, I think this race is by far the hardest. Uh, I didn't actually complete it the first time. It took me two or three tries just to uh, complete it. But uh, for the, to unlock this one, you will need to have defeated Volo and uh, Giratina. And you will have to have the 1.1.0 update at least. Uh, so this is a post-game mission. So make sure you've completed the game first before you come here. Now, once you've completed this race uh, for the first time, uh, you can do it over and over and over again, and you can get a lot of cool rewards like uh, wing balls, jet balls, uh, ultra balls, aguav berries, and loads of different stuff like that. So that's why we went through all this trouble because you can get some cool rewards while having a bit of fun on a balloon race now there's uh, 60 balloons in total uh, the more you get the better your rewards like usual uh, but for the to complete the mission you have to hit 40 balloons first and you get just under two minutes to complete it now I, i've not actually uh, got all the balloons on this race before but uh, you just want to uh, follow what i'm doing i'll oh, just miss that and uh, i i think i'll be able to show you the best way of getting as close to 60 as you possibly can so you want to click a straight away as soon as you get to the height of that jump and then you want to just follow this down here and when you hit this balloon right here you just want to dive and hopefully get that one as well uh, you will be getting the one at the start, I just missed it because uh, I, I just completely forgot that what it did. Uh, so you want to jump here as well, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that one. And as soon as we get that we want to dive again. And get this one, this one, this one, and then we'll be at the floor. So now we're at the floor, got that one. And you want to be careful of this one because it's going quite fast. Oh, we just missed it. Uh, but hopefully you get it. And then when we get to here, uh, you want to jump. And I activate Braviary straight away. You can use Sneasler, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, I'm going to get this. And then you want to click uh, right on the little uh, D-pad uh, really quick twice. Once you have Sneasler, because we need to get weird air as fast as possible. So we can get as many as you can. Alright, so we've already hit the 40. Uh, let's see if we can get 50. Oh, just missed that one. So, uh, this one. Oh, camera's going all weird. Oh, just missed that one because of our camera. Oh, oh, that's my bad. I think we've just missed loads of them. Uh, let's see if we can get this one. There's 10 seconds left. We should be able to get these, though. Yeah. And then you want to dive as soon as you get that out. Oh, I've messed up again. Oh, didn't mean to click that. As you can see, I messed up quite a lot on that run, and I still got 48 out of 60, so it's quite easy once you get used to it, and then you can get your reward, which will be three bags of Stardust. Uh, the best reward for me that I've got is uh, I've had uh, four or five Aguav Berries before, and hopefully you get quite lucky while doing this mission. Okay, so that's how you unlock and how to complete all the balloon races. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've found it helpful. 
And if you have, leave a like and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.